Hi guys, Trading Mamas here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I've had a lot of requests from uh, members of our Facebook group to show them my portfolio, um, just because we have a lot of new investors and they're looking for ideas of um, which stocks to research, which stocks to get into. Um, so instead of making direct recommendations, which I, I don't really feel comfortable doing, I just thought I'd show you guys my portfolio, share that with you, um, just so you can get some ideas. Um, this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. So this video is just for entertainment purposes. Please do your own research and due diligence when making your investment decisions. Um, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps out and goes a long way. So um, let's just get right into it. So I'm just going to first um, tell you something about my portfolio that um, that may be non-traditional to some of you. So I don't really have a balanced portfolio. I, um, I invest ethically and I like to pick companies um, that are going to make a difference in the future, that are doing something good for humanity, doing something good for the environment, and um, sort of I like to pick companies uh, that will be, that will help shape the future that I want to see. So that's why I'm really heavily invested in sustainability and electric vehicles. Um, if you look at the statistics right now, 1% of cars on the road are electric in the US and 99% are gas, or I like to call them ICE cars, internal combustion engine cars, which are really bad for the environment. So um, if you look at 10 years from now, if you look ahead, it's going to be the opposite. So 99% will be electric, 1% will be ice. So ice is being phased out. And I think it's a really smart idea to start investing in EV now since, you know, right before it booms. I think there's going to be a huge EV boom. So most of the stocks I invested invest in are EVs or EV related for that reason. So I'm just going to get into my portfolio here. Here's my trading view page um, with the tickers that I have. And of course, number one is Tesla. They're the pioneers of EVs. I love them. I love um, what Elon Musk is doing, and I think that they're going to do amazing. So that's my favorite stock. Then I have these four Chinese EVs, NEO, Xpeng, Li, and BYD. Um, NEO is, is really um, the my favorite out of all of these they are um, you know they have the fastest EV they're they're working on a solid state battery which if they achieve that it'll be revolutionary um, they're in Norway right now and they're slowly getting into the European market and they also have plans to get into the North American market eventually so um, that's that's a really uh, good one to watch for NEO has been like my all-time best performing stock out of everything in my portfolio so I was lucky enough to buy it pretty low and um, it's done really well and I think it has a huge a lot more potential so I'd recommend definitely NEO I think that that'll do great um, Lee and BYD I'm thinking of actually dumping those positions and putting the money into NEO and XPeng just because they don't have autonomy and they haven't been doing as great um, as NEO and XPeng have especially NEO so um, next one is GoEV. So that's the ticker. The company is called Canoe. They're in California and they make um, this skateboard platform, which you can put many, many different things on. So it's modular. Um, you can use it for a food truck. You can use it for a regular truck. They just unveiled a new truck um, this week. So you should check that out. And um, the stock price jumped 20% when they unveiled it. So it's uh, it's it's a really good company. I think it's in the startup phases and it's a really, really good price to get in right now. Um, I think it's very, very undervalued. So um, that's one maybe you can research. And then there's Candy Technologies is next. So this is a Chinese EV. Um, I don't like the car that much, but you know, it's pretty small. But the attractive thing about it is it's only $10,000. So after tax credits. So I think a lot of people in the US will buy this. It is in the US right now. And um, I think it'll do great. I mean, where can you get a car for 10,000? Um, you can't even get an ICE car for 10,000. And this is EV and you'll never have to spend any gas money on it. So for that reason alone, I think it might do very, very well. And um, then the next one is Solo. And um, it's sort of like a niche market. So, so it's a commuter car. It looks like kind of like half a car and only one person can fit in the car. So it's just for commuters, not really a family car. It's a niche market, but I think it has some potential. We might see it go into the teens or the twenties or thirties even. 
so that's one to watch for but I'm not as bullish about it as like some of the other ones up here so that's solo and then we have ride which is Lord's Town Motors and this company um, a shorter report uh, Hindenburg uh, put out a short report on it this week and it made the stock plummet it dropped 20% if you know about Hindenburg shorter reports a lot of the times they're they make false allegations I think ride will recover and um, it's a rock bottom price to get it right now there is risk involved because you know if the allegations turn out to be true okay well stock won't do so well but most of the times um, the companies you know refute the um, allegations they prove that they are a legitimate company and then it just will go rocket high after that so that's that's one to watch for a workhorse is another um, good company it's a last mile delivery vehicle company that's electric and they make um, it's basically for delivering mail and stuff like that they did lose out on the USPS contract which made the stock go way 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 down so it's again at rock bottom prices right now um, it wasn't their fault that they they didn't get the contract it's, it's a whole political thing um, ice versus electric thing um, but they're a good company I think and um, you know it just it's good for long term it'll probably take them a while to recover but if you don't mind holding for for long term it might be a good one to get into then there's fee which is a SPAC for an electric last mile delivery company so it's kind of like workhorse but I think they already have some uh, contracts with I think Walmart um, or some big name like that and so I think they'll do really well um, it's a rock bottom price so if you know anything about SPACs getting in around the $10 range is like pretty much the best you can do so it's a really good price and I, I just um, it'll be interesting to see what it does like around merger time what, what that share price will go to another SPAC I have is CCIV this is another electric car company that it's going to merge with it's Lucid Motors sort of like um, an, a luxury version of um, Tesla so it's a luxury EV um, and uh, the price you know just recently dropped from like the 60s to the 20s so it's a good time to get in um, mergers in June so we're not really sure what's going to happen before then or around merger time but um, it's a good price dip right now and I should mention as well that all these EVs right now are in a market correction and that's why you're seeing these low low prices so if you compare the price to like a month ago they were almost all of them were like double what they are now so this is the perfect time to actually get some of these we don't know how long this correction is going to last um, could go you know longer who knows we might see lower prices even but you know it's going to rebound pretty quickly in my opinion so um, you know buying now might be wise so the next one's green power they're an electric bus company and they have some um, they're Canadian but they have contracts in California they do like transit buses school buses things like that so that's that's a good one and then there's NGA which is a SPAC for Lion Electric it's a Canadian electric school bus company so um, Trudeau the Canadian Prime Minister you know has talked about this company he's backing it I think it'll do really well and the share price is is really good right now so I remember it being 34 35 and it's like 17 right now so again these are like Black Friday prices guys so anyway the next one <clears throat> bus is um, it's Grand West transportation I think is the company and it's in um, Western Canada I think BC and they're like a startup uh, transit electric transit company buses and stuff like that so that's a really good one to get into in the early stages when the share price is you know under three dollars so um, that's BUS then um, so th those were all like sort of EVs electric vehicles and then I'll get into um, electric uh, like these are airplane like air taxis so eHang um, is a electric autonomous air taxi so you kind of get in there's no driver it takes you to where you want to go so it's pretty cool technology and um, <clears throat> I think it's in China right now or Korea not in North America right now but it's a really good um, company their technology is pretty advanced and um, you know look at the price here it's like $51 right now and a couple a few weeks ago it was $130 and this got attacked by a shorter report as well so that's why you're seeing this price um, I believe it will recover but um, you know 
these shorters are relentless and um, they can really hit hard. So anyway, it's an excellent time to buy in to eHang in my opinion. Um, another company that's similar to eHang is ACIC. It's a SPAC that's going to be merging with Archer, um, which is another company kind of like eHang that are going to be working on autonomous air taxis. Their technology is very, very um, in the early stages. They're not quite anywhere close to where eHang is, but um, you know you can account for that in the share price here. But who knows how how successful they'll be in the future? So I think that's that's a good one to look into. Then there's FLT, which is Drone Delivery Canada. So um, they have some kind of contract with Air Canada right now, and they're also looking to get into the U.S. Um, market. If they do get into the U.S., um, watch that share price jump overnight. So that's one other company to watch for. These next four, Ali, Asti, Hisser, and Oz, or OZSC, are renewable energy sustainability uh, renew sorry, renewable energy companies. They're on the OTC market, though, so you can't buy them in your TFSA. Um, <clears throat> I warn you about OTCs because they're, they have a lot of risk associated with them, but you never know, like they could hit, um, they could hit big numbers here. So I have a few of them, a very small position compared to everything else in my portfolio, but um, I'm taking a chance with those ones. Then I have two ETFs. I have ArcG and ArcQ managed by Kathy Wood. I'm sure you guys know her. Um, they're all disruptive and innovative technology companies. So I think that they're, they'll do really well. Um, and then I have Vacu, which is a SPAC that's going to be merging with Rocket Lab. So Rocket Lab um, is a company that sends rockets up to space to um, deliver satellites. So this is something that SpaceX does, but SpaceX isn't on the market right now. So it's sort of like a competitor for SpaceX. Um, there are a lot of companies that do this, but I like Rocket Lab because their rockets are reusable. So they found a way to make them reusable, which is very difficult, actually. And um, I'm sure you can imagine the price. The rockets are very, very expensive. So, you know, if you send a rocket up, you don't get it back. It self disrupts. Well, you've lost a lot of money. But if you can make that rocket reusable and use it multiple times, you can be very, very profitable. So that's one um, I'm really, really bullish on. I think it'll do really well. Um, once it merges. So another um, company in the space field is here, uh, the ticker space, but it's Virgin Galactic and they're working on space tourism. So that's an interesting one to watch for as well. So I bought Nokia um, when all that game stuff was going on because every, everyone was saying it was going to get pumped and then it never got pumped. Everything else did, but not Nokia. So I kind of lost out and um, I'm kind of bag holding right now. So that was my mistake, lesson learned. I usually don't get involved with these pump and dumps or hyped stocks, but uh, I'm kind of stuck in that one now. So I've learned from that mistake. Um, the next one is a solid state battery company, STM. Um, they haven't perfected this technology yet for EV EVs, but if they do, I think it would be um, a really good stock to have. Then there's graphene. Um, which is a, a, if they perfect the graphene material, it can be used in like many, many different, um, many different uses for graphene. And that's why I'm holding on to this one. Then there's graphite, which will be used in electric vehicles, batteries. And then we have everything else here um, is sort of nickel mostly, because uh, if you've heard Elon Musk talk about um, the, the amount of nickel they're going to need, like in their new EVs, it's, EV batteries, it's kind of ridiculous. Like he says, nickel is the new gold and um, there's not enough nickel in the world to meet the demand for EVs in the future. There's gonna be a nickel shortage. So what I've basically done is bought all the nickel I could find. So I have um, Vail, I have Giga Metals. A lot of these are Canadian companies. I have FPX, um, CNC, Knob, um, I'll skip this one, Sherit, Talon, MD, ORM, these are all nickel companies and NICL. And then I'll go back to this one. So NU is a graphite company and um, they were doing really well. It's actually my highest earning stock in terms of percentage. Um, but I just did sell it on Friday because they're sort of looking at going into a reverse uh, split. So if you know anything about reverse splits, um, I you know kind of dump a stock when it reverse splits because I think 
there's a potential for it to go down. And then, you know, once it's maybe uplisted, if it moves to the NASDAQ or whatever, I may think about buying that back. But for now, I've sort of dumped new. Um, and then if you go down here, manganese is another metal that will be used in electric batteries. So I have that. There's another company, Braille Energy Systems. They were rumored to have a deal with Tesla, so I bought that, but it hasn't been doing very well. So, you know, I'm keeping it around just to see what it does in the future. And then last but not least, I have a little bit of crypto. Um, it's something new for me. I'm not, uh, I don't know a lot about crypto, but I do have some of the uh, lower value ones. So I have Cardano and I have Dogecoin. Elon's really, you know, talking about Dogecoin a lot. So hoping that one of these will sort of, uh, you know, hit the big time. We never know. Then I have a little bit of a Bitcoin ETF. And then um, I have something called ACDC, which is related in some way to crypto and um, blockchain and stuff like that. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. And thank you for watching. Hope this gives you some ideas. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So um, catch you guys later. Have a great day.